And good evening, Possibility War fans. It is August 7th of 2022, and uh, we are um, uh, going, hopefully going to complete um, Act 1, Dead Man's History, tonight. Uh, we are at present in Scene 4, The Ambush. Um, and we will be hopefully completing that tonight. Um, it's, it's not going to be a full fight because there is some preservation work that needs to be done uh, by uh, Iramasu Yamoto of Pan Pacifica. Uh, who decided that he was going to show up for for probably technology reasons to uh, get some data out of the Parkhurst home after having murdered uh, uh, John Parkhurst and um, uh, uh -huh, Al Alhamabara, okay, Atalkas Alhamabara, at his, at uh, Parkhurst residence. Um, let's go ahead and pick up the game. Okay, I love how this reveal comes up. The, uh, what do they call it? A scene transition? I'm doing, I, I've learned different scene transitions and stuff. Uh, okay, so we need, we have Artorius and Nightbird in the game. We need you other three. Up oh, there's Peaches. Um, okay, so what do you guys remember while you're logging in from last week? I am going to start with Connor. Uh, I took out two ninjas and then created a uh, opponent fails card, which I pretty sure saved uh, Artorius's uh, bacon. Oh, definitely. It definitely saved my bacon. <laughs> All right, uh, Peaches? Uh, we found all the thumb drives and took those. We found uh, a book mentioning a family called the Stevensons, I believe it was, mm -hmm. um, which I have uh, kind of stuffed down the back of my pants there. Okay. Um, we're, we got jumped by a boatload of ninjas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Popping out of the work, it appears. And um, Captain Bouchard and I are busily tag teaming our ninja target, and we are pummeling him down between, be, you know, a beat down. Yeah. Between the two of us with our fists because my gun is jammed. A little bit too busy to notice what else is going on. <laughs> okay, uh, Rios. Uh, so I got one good reciprocal hit in after one of the ninjas stabbed me, but I have been suck a doodle doo ever since for the remainder of the fight. But and, uh, Andon seems to be holding his own decently, but not you know exceptionally. Okay, yeah, that's true. That is true. Uh, but I don't think he's even been injured once yet. So uh, I would say that he's yeah. probably doing very very good. Uh, Artorius. That I'm somehow still alive and I can't use any of my fire spells because I don't want to set a house on fire. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't you love tight spaces? <laughs> Yay. Nightbird, what do you remember? I'm wounding the boss for a little bit. And I think he hit me. And uh, we've been just kind of doing the. Uh, the Katana Tango movement. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Um, and yes, he got That's you for fine. one wound and two shock. Okay, so we were in the midst of our fight. Uh, you guys have taken out three ninjas thus far. And all three of those ninjas, let me detach this. There we go. Combat tracker is detached. Let me get over here. Okay. Um, Anyway, um, three of the ninjas have been dropped, and all three of them have disconnected. I was supposed to take care of that last week, which is why I need to keep out this D6. Duh. I'll keep out a Torque D6, and that way I can roll for whether their bodies disconnect or not. All three of these ones have disconnected, which means that their, their katanas 
and any uh, electrical stars that they had have converted over to core earth. So they're just regular stars and swords. Um, let's see. Okay, so uh, we are in round three. Yes, okay. The battle is mine. Um, it's a dramatic scene, so the villains do get to go first, and they are inspired. Uh, and then the heroes get to go. So let me put the ninjas on top. Okay. So. Okay, Any anything you guys want to ask before we pick up with the fight, or do you just kind of want to get going? Uh, let's get going. All right, let's do this. She might sue. Okay, uh, so Ninja 4. Let's get him going first. Uh, he is against Bouchard and Peaches. Let's see who he hits first. Uh, or who he is going to... You know what? He's going to do a multi. I'm going to have him do a multi, even with his penalty. Come on, open up. After, th after his, his action, that penalty goes away. So let's see, let's get him opened up. I don't need the whole thing. There we go. Um, he's going to do a multi-action, so let's get this open. Um, oh, Peaches, you're going to be the primary. So let's try this again. Electric Katana. Because you're the one with the lot. Uh, let's see. Someone's targeting me? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, you are part of a multi-target thing. Uh, multi-target. He's not doing a call shot. Uh, all-out attack. He's he's not going to do an all-out... Well, I don't know. Should I do an all-out attack with him? I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. You know what? I'm going to do an all-out attack with him. In fact... Uh, let's see. Add plus four to melee or unarmed attack total, but become very vulnerable until the end of your next turn. So he's going to do an all-out attack... And then let's see if this makes him very vulnerable afterwards. Uh, all right. So let's see, 17. All right. Uh, and it, it looks like he's going to hit both, but it's going to be pretty weak. Okay. Um, for Peaches, uh, you take two shock. And then I need to pop open Bashard and figure out. What's going on? From Ninja 4? From Ninja 4. He is hitting both you and the captain. <laughs> Boot to the head. Boot to what? the head series? Move. Man, okay. No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, head. I forgot. No. I forgot. I can throw in key strike. I'm going to throw in key strike because that means he can take a shock point. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's why. That would be a good reason why he is doing all of this. Okay, and so let's see, plus two damage, so, ooh, ooh, okay, so he doesn't get a bonus dice, but he does get, uh, ooh, uh, Peaches, one wound and two shock, because he did key strike to up his melee damage total by two. Oh, he got to ignore two points of multi-target penalty, which I didn't calculate in. So, that's okay. He hit y'all anyway. Um, uh, just, uh, I'm going to soak that. You're going to soak that? Okay, go ahead. And, uh, do you want me to spend your possibility, or do you have it? Uh, go ahead. Okay, peaches, minus one. That leaves you with two possibilities. Um, now, let's see, electric katana... Okay, he got a he got an action total of 17 versus, um, yes, a it's gonna be a melee weapons. Where's his melee weapons? Oh, I hate these sheets. That's 12. So that's a difference of five. So he's gonna take one wound and two shock himself. But since it's his first wound and shock. The captain um, takes a nice slash across the front of his... Um... Now, wait a minute. That was against that. That was five, so it's one bonus die against him. So, one bonus die. Okay. 
So that means damage of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 versus a toughness of 9. So that's double, but it's it's not an... Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da, so that's 9. Still 1 wound and 2 shock. Okay. So that didn't really... Oh, his soaking damage is favored. And he's got two possibilities left. I am going to go ahead and soak damage for the captain. So that takes off all of his wound. Both, yeah, mm -hmm. his wound and shock. Okay, let's just go zero. Hit the lead on that. There we go. See? That works out. Uh, so he manages to hit both of you. Um, when you spend your possibility, you know that you soak the whole, uh, the wound and uh, all shock, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was. I didn't even write it down. Okay. All right. So that was Ninja Four. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Times a lady. What's that? Once, twice, three times a lady. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um. Um. Mm-hmm. Nightbird. Uh. Takanda is also going to do an all-out attack with his sword. So, oh, whoops. Let me take that off of Peaches and put it on you instead. Yabu Tukanda. Uh, he is not doing a multi-action, but he is doing an all-out attack. And, okay, after you wounded him, he got pissed off and decided he was going to have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, it's a standard success, but um, he has perks. He's got block strike. Uh, he did not immediately counterattack, uh, uh, even though I, I he took a wound. Uh, focus strike, that's one shock. How much shock does he have? Okay. He counterattacked me last game. What's that again? Uh, no, I, I tried to counterattack you last game and could not because um, you had to do damage to him before he could actually counterattack. Oh, yeah, I yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. I'm trying to remember everything. <laughs> since samurai, since uh, ninjas and samurai hate one another, he is going to do both key strike and uh, focused strike. So he can get AP4 on his attack, uh, armor piercing 4, and his key strike, uh, let's see, one shock to increase melee damage total by 2. Um, you know what I didn't check to see? I didn't check to see if the other ninjas had um, any problems. He does. He does not. He does... Okay, that's what I forgot to do. So, let's see. Zero on that. And it's six on that instead of eight. But Takanda stays where he is, because I was already acting for Takanda. Yay! Um, um, is there any reason why the game still reads as game paused for me? Uh, yeah, the, the game is paused because there's no there's no movement. Um, I paused the game uh, so that you guys cannot necessarily move around and explore everything in the universe, and I often forget to unpause it. So, thank you for the reminder. Uh, Just saying. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it was important. It was important in, in case you guys decide you're going to uh, uh, do something. Okay, nope, he doesn't have the possibility for that. Okay, he's not doing a multi-attack and indomitable. Boy, these perks are, are kind of uh, hard to, to get over. So, okay, so he is going to do extra damage. Um... But that's just extra damage. He doesn't get a bonus die against you for damage. His damage is 18 AP4 versus your 13. So that's a difference of 5. So, that, so that's another wound and 2 shock. Is it my armor? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Your armor is AP4. And he has a focused strike, which allows him to ignore uh, those four, uh, those four points of armor. So um, 
actually, yeah, your armor, I, I left it as it was for your armor to do something. Now, um, you, oof, do you have anything? Let me take a look here. Uh, oh, he's trying to steal me then. Nightbird. No, no, no. No, you have three wounds. Uh, no, you have four wounds, if I'm not mistaken. Or I took one already. Yeah, yeah. So if you take a second one, you're okay. Yeah, I uh, thought he did more than one. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, he, he gave you... You sh you were able to soak one last game, uh, but he got you another one on the very next round. So you're at two wounds and five shock now. Um, right. uh, it, if I hadn't taken into account your armor, it would still be... It, you still would have only taken one wound and two shock. So, yeah. Okay, so that's taken care of. Right. And... Just take him now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, in a minute, in a minute. Um, let's see, so that was Yamoto. Okay, Ninja 3 is going to try and stabby stabby at, um, at Anden. And of course, he's he's got the the penalty. So here goes the stabby stabby, and he is going to use his key strike because he's taken no shock at all. Hmm. So he can use uh, he can take one shock to increase melee damage total by two. So here we go. Let's see if we even hit. If he doesn't hit, it's not going to make any difference. Um, I'll leave that one alone. Somebody's got to be able to carry you guys out after all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, uh, the, uh, the ninja failed to hit on Andon. So that's that. Uh, ninja 7 is... Let's see. Ninja 7, I want to see if he recognizes that Artorius is actually his greater threat. Artorius, odds or evens? Uh, let's go with odd. Odd? Okay. Yep, you're being attacked. Um, the odds are against you. Talking mushrooms. Oh, duh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, this one's going to do an all-out strike, because like I said, uh, you know what? He's going to, oh, wait a minute. He can ignore the first two points, because he's got Whirlwind of multi-target. He is going to do an all-out attack on you, however, because he really, really, really doesn't want to be magicked. Um, so let's see. That's all-out attack. No multi-target penalty, because he gets to ignore the first two points. Do 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 And roll it. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you get to take a whole... Well, wait a minute. Does that take into... It does not. So your melee damage total is going to be 14 instead of 13. So that's a difference of 5. Okay. So that's one wound and two shock unless you would like to um, uh, soak it. Let's see. You have four possibilities. You have the most possibilities out of the group. If you want to soak that damage, uh, sure, we'll we'll do that. Okay, you want me to reduce it, or do you want to reduce it? Uh, you can reduce it, sir. Okay, so you're down to three possibilities now, and that means that all of the damage that he just gave you disappears. Oh. So okay, so that's him. That's seven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's three. That's seven. Okay, I'm gonna. Captain Bouchard seems to be in the middle of the bad guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and have him act uh, against. Let's see, give me Bouchard. Yep, I'm gonna leave him there, and then Ninja Four, get him popped open. Okay, uh, let's see, what does Bouchard have that he can help with? Um, oh, I can't read that. <clears throat> Make sure that I'm still. Okay, let's see, the Glock is useless unless he draws it and tries to fire it, but he's going to be at a penalty if he does. Uh, you know what, he's, he's going to have to. 
even though he could end up firing into melee he's got to get rid of this guy okay so um all right that's how i'm gonna handle it so clock nine millimeter oh wait a minute hold on let's get this guy targeted now clock nine millimeter this could turn out to be bad um but we're hoping not okay aimed is exchanging don't think yourself man Blind fire, not knowing the target's location, called shot, aim for a specific location, penalized for its size. Okay, he is going to go for a called shot. Called shot. Oh, what size is that? It's going to be a penalty of two. Okay, and yes, we're looking for a vital area because he's shooting at the main body. And let's see, he's already got that penalty for darkness. Roll it. Oh, yes, yeah, but he still missed. Uh, no, he's got possibilities. He's going to spend his last possibility um, on attacking this guy. Okay, so he, yep, he's going to give that ninja one wound and two shock, even with the penalty that he's got. So, okay, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that guy. Status effect. Dead, dead, dead ski, and let me find something out. Now, wait a minute. Why did it do that? Oh, because I, I keep forgetting. Oh, for heaven's sake, quit. <laughs> okay, so that is Ninja what? Four? Okay, so Ninja yep. Four is... There we go. The Big Skull. Now, he rolled a two, so he did disconnect. Uh, on dying, so all of his stuff becomes normal. Okay. And that is Bouchard's actions. And I'm thankful that he did not miss, but he is out of possibilities. At least until the new act, if he stays with you guys. Okay, so let's see. That's, okay, Ninja 4. Got it. Bouchard is done. Okay, Ninja 2. Okay, uh, Ninja 2 is coming after you, Artorius. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so you're kind of you're you're kind of dodging out of the way of the two. Let's see what this guy can do. Uh, he did not Failed get once. Found to succeed again. What's that again? Uh, he failed once. Ninja Two is going to strike again. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 true. He is not going to do all of that stuff because he didn't get the memo to get out of the limo. Uh, let's see, oh no, he misses. That's definitely a failure. Okay, matter of oh. fact, <laughs> that. Uh, let's see. No, only if they're incapacitated or killed. Okay. All right. So that's him. Okay. Now, do you guys have a plan or of what you want to do, or is it still just all stabby, stabby, killy, killy? Stabby, stabby. Woohoo! <laughs> killy, killy. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So nobody's got anything special they want to do. I'm going to start I was at the top. Gonna ask Mm -hmm. uh, nope. I'm gonna ask Nightbird if they needed help with the uh, Yamoto, or do does she want to just uh, play out an honorable duel? Okay. How can you best? How can you best ask that question so that we can determine if that's a free action, a simple action, or a full action? Hey, Nightbird, help him out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that a free action. If I die, avenge me. What? If I die, avenge me. No problem, bro. You right? We, uh, we got you, man. Uh, otherwise, um, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> 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 Okay, so if I die, avenge me. We'll leave it at that and make that a free action as well for an answer. Um, 
Uh, does Okay, so Chris, you asked that. Uh, Peaches, any special thing you want to try and do now that old Ninja Boy is dead? Um, oh. So Ninja Boy has bought it. Yep. Um, who's closest to me? Yamoto? Uh, yeah, Yamoto is closest to you, but uh, uh, what would you guess about a samurai wanting to take out a ninja? So the question then becomes, are you going to try and take out Yamoto, or are you going to try and, and help with the others? Well, um, I don't want the anyone to get away. Uh, we, we've got we've got to eliminate all the threat. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I don't have a field of view outside the doorway, do I? So I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not really sure how Andon and Artorias are doing, are they? Do I? Oh, no, no, that's right. You don't have a viewpoint. Um, however, I could like shine my flashlight in Yamamoto's eyes. Uh, Chris, what was that? Because... I mean, we should at least be able to hear the uh, oh, you sounds can... of battle. Yeah out there so they could so we know they need help out there actually your expert says they're all right yeah you're at a point where you actually could look um yeah you you can't see right now because but you can hear wait a minute did uh, that say two meters that's not right oh my gosh it is <laughs> uh connor could you turn up your volume please i can't barely hear you I'm I'm don't haven't done anything to my volume. Yeah, I I can hear him fine. Huh. It's on your end, R. Probably. <laughs> uh, I notice I have a big problem talking over people, but I suspect it's because I have a lag, and I'm talking free and clear, and then I realize I'm marching over other people. Huh. Uh, so my apologies for that. I never considered um, that before. That's weird. Uh, uh, I know I'm a particularly bad culprit because I'll jump right in when I think is a clear space when it turns out it didn't. Oh. Huh. Uh, so it, it's it's good that you keep me mindful of that. Um, huh. Yamoto is would be my target because uh, Rios did call us to, you know, back to back and... Uh, so until the threat behind me is gone, I'm not going to go forward, just in general purposes. Okay, now you did hear um, uh, Chris and uh, Nightbird exchange, that, that make that short exchange of, of Nightbird, do you need help? Avenge me if I die. Oh. Yeah, you heard that. So do you uh, still okay, want to interfere? Dying, nobody's dying on my watch. Uh, <laughs> I don't... She's a little bit like Lassie. She that that would galvanize her to go forward. But isn't Anton in the doorway? Um, I I'm gonna say this. Uh, depending on who gets to the door first, um, I I would have one person be able to to make a dex check uh, to slip through the door next to Andon. Oh, I know. Beautiful, ruthless. So. Uh, do you want to try and slip through that door? And uh, and your flashlight is still on. Do you want to hinder your friends? Don't want to hinder my friends, no. Okay. So that, that flashlight you've got right there, let's put it this way. You're going to need to buy a pair of nods because everybody else has, like, special vision and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, I know I'm you don't, but you a glowing boy. That's right. You've got the the shield, so or the shield ring. So essentially, what I would do would be aim the flashlight down at the ground as I pivot, and then aim it at my the villain or where I estimate the next nearest villain to be. So I don't blind anybody of my party or blind myself, but hopefully uh, the bad guys get a face full. Huh. Okay. Well, the, I mean, we'll have to we'll have to determine that as we go along. I I kind of know how I want to handle that. So, do you want to try and move out to the hallway? Uh. 
you do see one of the ninjas from where you're at. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. You're right. Uh, I'm going to head for Ninja 7. Okay. Um, then let's go ahead and, before you move your token, let's go ahead and get a dex check. Um, the target number on that dex check is going to be 12. Just a straight dexterity roll? Um, let's see. What might you have? Uh, uh, maneuver would... Uh, that bell. Maneuver really doesn't fit like that. Maneuver is for taking down or for for um, giving your enemies stymie or vulnerable by kind of pulling them out of position. Um, what we're trying to do is have Peaches step through the doorway without disrupting oh, yeah. and in too much. You know what? There's a better one. And you're probably not going to like it, but but it, it is apropos in this case. Um, unarmed combat. Okay. I'm building wonders and stuff. You're still ahead of me. I can use unarmed combat to uh, get where I need to go. Okay. Go right ahead and roll that. Roll. You said the difficulty was not 12. 10. It was 12. 12. It should be challenging. Right. There you go. Give it a roll. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Ooh! Yes! So that's 35. Your your die total was a 35. That's an outstanding success. Okay. You go and step through the door. Let me see something here. Come on, pop open. Go ahead and, go ahead and move my token. Well, hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, What would it be? Okay. I could end up where event. Ninja 5 was, maybe. Okay, so that is a failure. Okay, you manage. Okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? I'm going to move him over here, and I need to re-aim him a little bit. Um, I Oh, nope, he's still on the... Would you go to the right direction, please? Okay, you bump this guy mm -hmm. off, and let me very unexpectedly... Okay, this guy, um, this guy right here, I, you can't see that, but uh, that ninja uh, ends up being very stymied because you push him out of the way, okay, and you are facing like so. Do you see where you're at? I do. Okay. Um, Let me close does that. this mean I can, I can uh, as a simple action, uh, put my flashlight full in the face of Ninja 3? Yes, as a matter of fact, you, you don't even have to do that. You don't even have to do that. Um, Artorius, I, yes, need, I need you to roll a dexterity versus 8. Are, are there any penalties or anything? Nope. Except what you've already got, anything you've already got, like wounds and stuff, mm -hmm. and that should be automatically taken care of. Whoop! Is it going to hold on? Just a moment. Let's see. There we go. Uh, oof. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, you put it. At, why don't you put it at the standard difficulty and and. Darn it! Well, he his... can't even get a supporter up on there and get him over. Yeah, there's there's no supporter or anything like that in on the the table right now. Um, so yeah, besides his action total was a four, which is pretty rough. Um, that it, that's still half of an eight, so it still wouldn't work any, either way. Okay, Peaches, you do your movement. You still have both of your simple actions because movement does not require an action unless you're running so can i flash ninja three and ninja seven um wait a minute which one no you cannot flash both at the same time um you bump into ninja three and knock him to the ground making him very stymied um All right, is there he'll be my i'm sorry uh, He'll be my attack target then, Ninja okay. 3. Oh, okay. So wait a minute. You're going to have to flash the flashlight at Ninja 3. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so you want to face Ninja 3 rather than Ninja 7. Correct. Okay, uh, Remy. That goes away. Okay, yes, go, go go ahead and turn your 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 token, Miss Ginger. How do I shift around again? Uh, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and, and then you scroll. Yeah, and then use your your scroll wheel on your mouse. Um, all I get is zoom. Uh, you have to click your token. Click shift scroll. There we go. There you go. There we go. Okay, why did I let you go first? That's like the th second time that I've let you go first in a round, even though we didn't finish everything, that, you know, determining everything. I'm going to come back to you. We're going to say, okay. we're going to call your movement valid, but we're going to stop right here so that I can make sure I get everybody. Um, Rios, what do you have in mind to do? And bear in mind, there's a lot in here that is dark to you. Hmm. Can I start digging around in my bag for one of my uh, uh, lanterns? Um. Okay. Yeah, but it's gonna take a bit to start that lantern. All right. Okay. I don't really feel like I can. My character would not feel like she could safely move anywhere without some kind of light source. So okay. once she gets a free moment, that would be the first thing she would do. Okay. Then in in that case, we're we're not gonna have you roll a dex test. Um, we're going to say it's going to take about six rounds to find it, dig it out, uh, and light it. Okay? So, I know that seems excessive, but it is a storm lantern, and storm lanterns are not easy to light fast. Gotcha. Trust me on that. I used to live in Nebraska. Everybody uses storm <laughs> lanterns in Nebraska. So, alright, so that's for you. Uh, matter of fact, I could probably just... Let me shut that off so I can see everything on my screen. Hey, wow. There's a screen to have. So, I'm going to put out here... Uh, text. Let rounds me, until light. <laughs> yeah, I just um, made a huge yeah, rounds. Okay, hold on. Rios. Rounds to light. Six. Okay, and I'm going to put that at a 15... For font size, update drawing, and okay, and I'm going to move this out here because I'm keeping track of it out here. So, um, let's see, you have not acted this round, but your ninja is down, so you probably would have had it in mind to start. So, I'm going to go ahead and reduce that to five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that is, that's Rios. Okay, we're going to deal with that. Artorius, what are you doing? I am going to go after Ninja 2. Okay. I'm going to try to take him on. Oh. I'm going to try to get him with my axe instead of a spell. Go ahead and target. You've already got him targeted. Let me open Ninja yes, 2 sir. up. Okay, go for it. No penalties or anything? Uh, yeah, no no penalties or anything. And here I am letting you attack. Hold on just a minute. Oh, you... <laughs> uh, hold on just a minute. I, I've got to get uh, this down better. Yet. You're good. Okay. You're good. I've got to get this going right. better. Nightbird, you're just going to attack, right? Yeah. Ross? Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back up from the bottom. Since I've been making Ross wait for all of this time, and about half mm -hmm. of you have done some actions already... <laughs> Which is all entirely my fault. So, Nightbird. Bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so bad. Okay, don't forget to select Yamoto as your target. Yeah. And yeah. let me see what he's got. Um, ooh. Oh, that's ugly. I like it. All right. So, the only problems that you should have, the only penal uh, uh, penalties or bonuses you should have should already be taken care of. Ask me questions and I'll tell you no lies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it's a five, so it's not a mishap. Uh, do you? Well, I see? have, I have the second chance burn. I'd like to use. Okay, then go ahead and and do you remember how to burn it? Uh, Discard I'm it. Play yeah. it. Yeah, I'm playing it, right? Yep. Uh, there you go. 
Three. Okay, there you go. Uh, and just roll it again. Roll it again, Sam. Okay, that's going to be better, but it's still a failure. Um, let's see. You've got the adrenaline card. Oh, no, nope, that's only going to give you an action total of 13. The dice in this game hate me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me tell you the truth. They hate all of us, but only on certain nights. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, um, my friend, oh, penalties ain't helping you. uh, yeah, I, I know that's true. Okay. So let's see. All right. So that is Nightbird. Okay. Uh, Artorius. Remember if I die, avenge me. <laughs> we got you. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> straight, just straight roll, right? It should just be a straight roll, yeah. All right, please, please, please. Oh wait, oh you target him. Oh, that's going to be a nice roll. Uh, yes. Okay, so it's an actual total of fourteen versus thirteen. That does not get you a bonus dice. Uh, your damage is eleven versus a toughness of ten. Uh, let's see, Artorias precision. What is precision? Oh, that's friendly fire rule, huh? Okay, so that's not going to help you. And no one has anything in their arsenal, their cards arsenal, to help you out right now. Um, yeah, I mean, unless you want to trade bad. precision for something else from somebody else. And you can read all of the cards by taking your cursor over the name of the card in the combat yeah. tracker. I mean, all, all the stuff I've got won't do anything for the most part right now, so. Yeah. It'll be all right. Okay. I'm absolutely certain it's going to be okay. Um, so Don't jinx me, though. That was Ninja 2. <laughs> uh, and Artorius. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rios, uh, we've already taken care of you. Uh, you're down to five rounds instead of six. Peaches, uh, you said you're going after Ninja 3. Let me open him up so that he can take damage. He is prone. Uh, let's see. So, I gotta turn on this light. I think this, this, uh, these things aren't working the way that they're supposed to. These lights. Uh, I don't see anything for prone, but I'm gonna give him a penalty of, of, uh, actually, you need a bonus of 2 to hit because he's prone. So if you go into your um, uh, whatever you're using to hit, whatever skill you pop open in the upper right hand corner, you should be able to click the radio button that says input existing and then put two there. Okay. Okay. Is that the right thing? Paul, is that the right thing? And you're using your axe? Actually, uh, what is a called shot penalty? Okay, a called shot gives you a, um, let's see, you aim for a specific location penalized for its size, minus two for an arm or leg, or like the, um, his center, tor his torso, uh, minus four for a head or a soccer ball sized area, and minus six for an armor hole. And he, uh, he's not going to have any armor holes, but that gives you the chance to give him plus four damage to vital areas. You would have to click on vital areas uh, at the right uh, after you click on called shot to make sure that damage gets applied and of course I'll be watching I'll be double checking it myself um, how much if, if I want to uh, wrap him hard on the temple either with my axe or my power glove uh, what is the difficulty on that uh, the difficulty his head is going to be minus four minus so, four okay so wait a minute let me let me look at something here no multi-action penalty, no multi-target penalty. It is a called shot. So you would click the minus four, and then we would click on vital area on the attack options line. Um, and then... Or, or, or wait, um, would I get the same effect if I hit him in the solar plexus? Would he pass out? Um, I... Tor torso shot. Uh, he might... Uh, are you trying to keep him alive? Is that what you're trying to do? Not particularly. Oh, okay. Um, then 
it would you know hitting him yeah hitting him in a vital area the the solar plexus might be pretty good because it's possible that you could break off uh the bone at the bottom and it would go into say his liver and he would be dead within like 30 seconds not so, a problem to me okay so um <laughs> if you want to do a called shot like i said go down to your attack options block uh click the minus four radio button hit uh click on vital area um and then let's see instead of putting the bonus in input existing um uh you could type in their prone target prone and then put a uh, a, a modifier of two J not just a two you don't need a plus in there and then you would click roll for that okay so uh i'm, I'm looking at the so what would be the difficulty, first of all? Uh, well, it, what you need to do is make sure you target him. So you're going to go over the top of him with your cursor on the on the uh, field, okay, on the canvas, and hit T on your keyboard. There you go. Right. He's marked. Then you would go back to your character sheet and uh, and try and do your strike. Uh, and if you if you left your window open, you're gonna have to close that window in order to get the the game to acknowledge that you now have him selected as your target. I did. Okay. And you're going with your power gloves. Yes. <laughs> plus four, plus four on damage. Okay, so do you have all of those particulars down that I was just running? No, over? I don't. Running me from the top. What is okay. the, the, the difficulty number? Is the difficulty number should be his Dodger dexterity, and that should register okay. in the difficulty number. If um, you go, so a bonus. Okay, uh, go down to attack options. Attack options. And then you're going to see called shot, and go to the right okay. and click the radio button that says minus four. Minus four. And then go further to the right and click Vital Area. Okay. Okay. Um, now, uh, go down to Other Modifiers. Okay. And uh, just type in Target Prone. And then in the Effect block, type Two. Uh, two. And then hit two. Roll. Okay, that's a good roll, but it's marked as a failure. You need two points. Uh, so let's see. You have an opponent fails card. Hold on. You have an opponent fails card. Would you like to trade Nightbird if if uh, she would be amenable to it for Adrenaline? Uh, sure, yes. Sure. If, if there, would you like to trade cards? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah, you uh, just use that opponent fails in the most dramatic way you can, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, do you guys remember how to transfer cards? Uh, uh, no. At this point. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to click to open Peaches. You're going to, uh, when you've got your character sheet open, you're going to go to the open yep. hand at the upper right. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, and then. Oh, I have it. I yeah. Have it. On the button. Yes, uh, so you can pass two. So, Ginger, you do not have uh, your enhanced display up for your cards. So, it's going to be the third or the second button from the right on the opponent fails line. You're going to click pass two, and then you're going to pick either uh, Ross or Nightbird, whichever name comes up. Uh. How do I? How do I do? Uh, how do I do this? I can't get my card hand to open. Um. Okay, you should be on Penny Gonzalez, not Peaches. Oh, that could be it. I yeah, I forgot to to delete the old character sheet. Here we go. So okay, is it okay with you if I delete that old character sheet? Yeah, yeah, as long as yeah. Every everything is over there. I went and double checked it, so. No, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you delete it, I just passed. Two peaches? Two peaches. Oh. So okay, hold on. I need to fix that. <laughs> um, hold on. I haven't okay. accepted it yet. Hold, hold on, hold on. So let me pass this to Penny. Where? Where's Penny? Penny Gonzalez, right there, and pass. Okay. 
So that takes care of peaches. Now, um, peaches, your new character sheet, if you open your card hand, you should have the, the, uh, you should be able to accept that card, uh, unless you've already got it. Oh, whoa, 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 no, whoa, I, whoa, wrong sheet. I let do. me close that. It looks, like I, it looks like I do. So yep. let me scroll. Where's Nightbird? There you are. Okay. Pass it to Nightbird. There you go. Okay. You see it? It should have gone automatically into your card hand. Um, both of you will need to check those to be in your pool. Actually, Nightbird, just play it. Or, no, wait a minute. It's Peaches that needs to play the Adrenaline. Nightbird, you need to put... There you go. Rock on. Okay. Now, I am deleting the old Peaches character sheet. Gotcha. There you go. Okay. Now, Penny Gonzalez. There you go. There. And I... Uh... Did a plus three card there. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you saved the day, Nightbird. Okay. So, yes, that's going to be one wound and two shock against that guy. Um, let's see. Did that take into account the extra damage? Let me let me look here. The power glove is strength plus four. Nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So, you're good to go. Uh, and that did come out to be a vital area, so let me... Oh, no. Aaron, you use shotgun. No, I don't. It's 10 minutes to shotgun. Okay. Uh, hold on. Um, I know what I'm doing. No, really. That is Ninja 3, and he's dead. It's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so Peaches, that takes care of you. And then, let's see. Chris, it is your turn, and then I will have it be Andon's turn. Sure, but does it take care of Ninja 3? <laughs> I know. Uh, you don't see the skull on there? Oh, I do now. Yeah. yeah. Finally, I got one. Okay, Chris, if you're hearing me, we're not hearing you. It wouldn't allow me to slip past uh, Andon and Artorias to try to attack Ninja 2, would you? You know, um, Peaches made such an extraordinary dex check that she was not only able to get past, but she more or less body checked Ninja 3 and then slew him. So, uh, what did uh, Ginger succeeding uh, mean for me? A, uh, okay, the situation is kind of a real heavy melee right now. If you would like to try and slip by Andon, it's going to require an unarmed combat uh, test versus a target number of 12 or a, uh, or a dexterity check versus the same if you don't have unarmed combat, and I'm pretty sure you do. I do. Okay. okay. So, with this, at difficulty challenging, mm -hmm. and roll. Ooh. Oh, no, no. Um, you could... Okay, dice, go away. There we go. You could get maybe about right here, but uh, um, there's just too much blockage in the hallway to help. But you could still see... Yeah. Ninja 7, if you want to move uh, over there. Wait. I mean, I don't How? think Ninja 7's taking a hit, so that uh, would help, I think. Yeah. If I, you know, was, like, right there. Mm-hmm. The, uh, okay, the wall is blocking you, but that's because the map is wonky. I can't get, yeah. like, half-meter scale, so you would still be able to do something. And it's point-blank range. Like how, uh, wait, how far is that for me? Oh, that, that... I mean, can I reach that, Yeah, basically? yeah, you can reach that. You're... Look, you're right there. Okay. You are um, adjacent uh, to that ninja. So I can do a melee strike, yes? You could, yes. Um, if you miss, though, you have an opportunity to hit either Andon or Peaches. So just don't miss. Uh, well, it, <laughs> just don't miss. Yeah, it'll be all right. I promise. <laughs> uh, uh, 
That's so true. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Let's do Let's hope you guys don't get laser sword. There you go. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. Oh, that. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Possibility. Okay, out. so that's a minimum of ten. <laughs> so you, you got a standard success. Do uh, you want me to take care of your possibility? Uh, yes, please. And I'm gonna be playing my uh, flurry card. To okay. Add 